Okay, I would be lying if I said it wasn't the next day, so. Okay, so I accidentally deleted the clip off of my camera from the day before where I entered this video. So hi, basically this video is just a reset video after being gone on vacation for two weeks. If you guys haven't seen those vlogs, we went to France, Greece, and London. We actually got married in Greece, so we were gone for two weeks. I had like a few days off to rest when I got home, and now we're resetting so we can get back into a routine. So hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's continue. <laughs> It's Sunday now. Yeah, yesterday got away from me. Like I went to get coffee. We sat and had coffee and chatted for a while and then we went home decor shopping and that took up a few hours. And then when I got home, I did a haul and then it was like dark out. And I was like, I don't really feel like doing any of this anymore. So um, <laughs> we're gonna try this again today, but happy Sunday. But I am gonna be decorating for fall later today. So if you guys want to see the haul and how I decorate, that video will probably be up right after this. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, we need to tackle the suitcase. Like I want to unpack. The goal for today is unpack, clean, and then place like a grocery order. And then I'll probably take you guys through tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday and I want to like hit the ground running with getting back into like a normal routine. So I'll take you guys through tomorrow of trying to like get up early, get back into like working out and like just trying to get back into having like a good routine. So Let's start with unpacking. Like, I've been kind of pulling some things out as I need them, but there's a lot that needs to be unpacked and we need to do some laundry, so. Also, it's just been rainy and gloomy the last few days, so it's really dark in this video. That's why. I know we did some laundry in London, so I need to decipher, like, I need to figure out what's clean and what's dirty. There is a life I lead in this city. I think most of what's in this is clean. I also broke the suitcase on this trip. Broke the wheel halfway through when we were leaving France. And then I think we just broke the zipper too. So it's gonna go. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am home again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Like, I have my headphones in, I'm like zoned out Going to grab hangers from the closet, I'm like doing the laundry I see something move out of the corner of my eye <laughs> Callie's just chilling I was not expecting her to be in here, it scared the fucking shit out of me I literally <laughs> Struggle. I wish I was filming. It scared the shit. Out of me. Okay, so a bunch of like mini, like travel size things in these bags. So most of that's just gonna stay in here. So I'm really just gonna go in and pull out what I need, and then everything else is like mini travel with a stay. I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to leave In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Okay, just doing the last bit of tidying. The room's pretty much good. I'm gonna wipe down like the dressers and the stand and the vacuum and then the room will be done. And then, yeah, we're just gonna work on tidying up now that 
the unpacking is pretty much done, but the room is looking a lot better already. Made up the bed. We have a couple more pillowcases in the washer. Um, so finish off the bed later, but yeah, it was a little chaotic in here since we've been back. So this is making me feel really good. It's getting dark. I think it might rain again and it's getting real dark out there. Are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? When? It's getting dark. No, I'm vlogging. Oh. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. I don't want to talk to you. break I'm gonna tidy up down downstairs right now there's a bunch of fall stuff laid out because I'm about to do a little haul and then do some decorating so I just like did the dishes and stuff I need to switch the laundry soon um, but yeah I'm just gonna wipe everything down and then we're gonna do the fall decorating but like so that's gonna be a separate video so I'm gonna do that but I just changed so I wasn't wearing like the same thing in both videos but yeah I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back with you guys once I'm done Monday. It's my first Monday home since being back from the trip. So I really wanted to get a head start today and like start the day off right, get back into a routine, do all the things. It is another really gloomy day right now. So it's a little dark. It's just very gloomy. I'm going to make up the bed and then yeah, I just did a little bit of a workout. I told myself, I was like, you know what? We're not, I'm not going to try to like get back into like doing the most intense workout possible. I was like, let me just like at least do like some 12, 3, 30. Like start off with something. Where do you put the clean laundry? I'm gonna make up the bed. We like, I've just been sleeping with these ones. The dogs, you guys love these. Um, Cause we wash the pillowcases separately on accident. I just need to find those so I can actually like make up the pillows properly. Hey, these are oh, okay. Sorry girl, it's gonna make the bed. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like ease back into the routine. Like I'm having, my goal is to have a really productive day today. If I'm not like the most productive I've ever been, that's okay. I just want to just have like a pretty good day. Like I'm going to make a to-do list. I'm going to try not to make it too crazy because I do love to make a long, long to-do list. I'm going to try not to make it too unrealistic. This bed is very lumpy right now. I'm always torn with making the bed because the dogs always like lay on the bed throughout the day. So it's like, I want to make it so it looks made, but I like don't like, do everything to a T just cause like, every time I come back in the pillows are messed up or the blankets removed or they just <laughs> love sleeping in the bed. Um, so I kind of, I like make it, but I like, I used to be real like a big stickler on like having the bed be perfect every morning. But like I said, they're just always in here and like moving the pillows around to, so they're comfortable. So I'll just make it up, kind of throw things on here. I think I want to do, I said I did some fall decorating yesterday, which like I so said, that'll be up probably, yeah, I think after this video. So I did some fall decorating. I didn't do upstairs and I still have to do like my office area. So I'm thinking, I wasn't going to do upstairs, but now I kind of want to. So like downstairs is more like, downstairs is really just like orange and like maroons for the most part. But I think up here, we already have green. I think I want to change the sheets. And like some of the throw pillows be brown. I have the green curtains. I'm like, do I swap out the curtains or do I want to tie in some like green, like fall decor? Or even if I just do brown 
Or I'm thinking if I don't do brown, maybe just adding some decor, like getting some more little pieces, like little pumpkins and stuff to put around, like that are more neutral color. I need to decide. I feel like I kind of want to do brown bedding now, though. <laughs> we just did the green like two months ago. But you know, I'm like, the green will come back for Christmas, though. It'll be perfect. We just add some like red decor and everything's green and red. Like, I think that'll be cute. Um, we'll see. But I'm like, you know, those will be perfect for spring and summer anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab a little protein shake and we are gonna have an actual, our first full work day in like almost a month. Got my candle lit and we are ready to start the day. We just got back from the grocery store. We just went to Aldi and I haven't been to Aldi's in forever. Like we usually go to like um, Publix or Kroger. I love Publix, it's like my favorite grocery store here. Love Publix, obviously love Trader Joe's, but um, I haven't been to Aldi in forever, but we got a lot of stuff. The goal was to kind of shop for the next like two-ish weeks. So we got a good amount of things. So I'm gonna give you guys a haul. I've like shoved everything in the fridge and freezer in the bags because I was supposed to go leave to do a showing, but just got that canceled. So. I like double check to see if they met the, the qualifications and they don't. And I'm like, this is why I always verify before I even do anything because that would have been such a waste of time. And uh, it's such a, it's like a 30 minute drive for me. So I would have been so bad if I drove all the way there just to find out that they didn't meet the qualifications. So our fridge and freezer are pretty empty right now because like I said, we only did like a kind of like a bit of a, we only did like a small order when we got back. So it's pretty empty and we like, ate up everything before we left slash threw things out. But yes, yeah, so let's do a grocery haul. Cody got himself a pizza for lunch. So he's making this right now. It's just this like mega meat, extra large pizza. But he wants to like eat some of it today and then kind of like split it up over the next like three days for lunches for the next couple days. This one's the heavy one. <laughs> Carry that around, it's a workout. Yeah, I love these Ikea bags because they're huge. They fit so much stuff. So this is all the refrigerated items. So we got a bag of spinach. Why do you get so much deli meat? Got some oven roasted turkey meat. Got some mushrooms. Cody's finally kind of like starting to like mushrooms. So I wanna make some. We got some truffle oil when we were in London from this little like market. So I'm really excited to use that. He got a couple more things for easy lunches. He got this cold barbecue chicken and he got a buffalo chicken calzone um i got three things of ground turkey meat two to make the dog's food because i make them some cooked food to mix with their kibble and then one just for us to have so um about two pounds each so basically six pounds of ground turkey all this was it was right over 300 dollars it was like 301 or something we got some pork chops so these are just like the thin pork chops I feel like you just get so much bang for your buck at Aldi on some things. I'm like, this is why I'm like, we need to go here more often. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people eat chicken breakfast sausage. So I wanted to try some of that for breakfast. He also got two things of this deli sliced buffalo chicken breast lunch meat. I'm not a big salmon person. I've talked about it before. I'm not like a huge like seafood person. Like I like sushi and like mostly, is this out of focus? Hopefully that was out of focus. I'm sorry. Are you focused? Okay. Hopefully it wasn't. Um, but I want to try, I really want to try to like salmon and Cody always wants it. So we got this, it's just this Mediterranean herb Atlantic salmon. I always hear people that don't love salmon, they'll kind of start getting into it when they eat them like these like pre-seasoned ones. So I'm hoping that'll help. I've tried it before, I don't know. I really want to like salmon, just not there yet. <laughs> these looked really good. They're sweet chili lime chicken breast skewer. So we got two packs of these. One skewer is 100 calories and 16 grams of protein. So I feel like that's like a really, like you have two of these, that's like 200 calories and 32 grams of protein. So I thought these were nice. And then obviously they're already like pre-seasoned, super easy. I figured put it over like a bread of, or a bed of rice with some veggies. Oh, I'm gonna take grab more vegetables. 
some more almond milk. Oh, he got another calzone. This one's pepperoni and cheese. And then he picked out a couple of little wraps. So we got two of these Italian style wraps. So they had good protein, like 27 grams of protein. Container of green grapes, strawberries. I was actually really excited to try these. These are Chobani Creations. So it's Greek yogurt apple pie a la mode. So it's like Greek yogurt, but it has this like apple pie like sauce on the bottom. So we got two just so we can try them out. And then they had overnight oats, which I go through overnight oats. I go through overnight oat cakes a lot. And I was kind of sounding good. I usually like the um, mush when I get to go to Publix and stuff, but I've never tried these ones. And these are a little cheaper. So it's the Brecky brand. So we got, I got one of each to try and then Cody got two or yeah. So we got a vanilla cinnamon, blueberry, dark chocolate. So got those for a nice easy breakfast. Got some blueberries. I think the cost of blueberries has been skyrocketing lately. It's so sad because I'm like, you're, they're not even that good right now, but whatever. Um, I've never had like a pumpkin yogurt, but I do love pumpkin spice. So I got two of the Chobani pumpkin spice blend. So see what we think of those. Some cheese. So I got some cheese cubes and some bite-sized dry salami. I thought this would be like a good little snack. I also got some crackers. So uh, that'd be like a nice little easy snack. Some Kobe Jack cheese for sandwiches. Salad tomatoes. Some salsa to go with some chips. And then I got two of these. I want to set like a little challenge or like not challenge, but like a little thing where we watch like one Halloween movie every night in October. So I'm going to make like a little calendar today for that. I thought that'd be really fun. Does this keep going out of focus? I feel like, why is, hold on, let me look at my settings. I feel like something's off. Okay. I think I figured out what the problem was. So hopefully if there were any focusing issues, hopefully that's better. I think I fixed, yeah, I think I fixed the setting. This should be better. Okay, but yeah, I wanted to set the little challenge. I thought it'd be nice if we had like two little cookies every night while we watched the movie. So I got two of these. And then I think we got two of these little perfect bars, peanut butter flavor. I have one here. I think there's one more. Yeah, what was the total? 309.96. Two more things in here. So I got a bag of kettle cook chips. I love like a plain kettle cook chip. Bag of Granny Smith apples. Got a jar of pickles. Actually, I got two jars of pickles. The other jar is somewhere. Some bananas. I got a couple. I got two cans of sweet peas and then carrots. The carrots are somewhere else. Um, just to make the pet some food. I usually get the frozen ones from Publix, but they didn't have anything frozen there. Um, a bag of red onions. Some wheat bread. And Cody wanted some bagels. A dozen eggs, and it looks like a couple of them are broken. Or... It's like... Stuck in like an eggshell. But it doesn't even look like it's from this egg. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Okay, we got some pantry stuff. Ooh. So it looks like Cody already dove into the pretzel sticks. We've been loving having cereal as dessert, like a little bowl of cereal. So loving Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then he got some like frosted boy type cereal. I got these to snack on, these little like 100 calorie snack packs, these little like Oreo cookie ones. Um, we've got some tortilla rounds for the salsa. Got two packs of these just for like a little snack of these little like Sims, like little Slim Jim type things. So I got original and mild. I got some pita sea salt crackers to go with the cheese and the salami. Brown rice. And then also like a little thing of this couscous. I got two boxes of it. It's roasted garlic and olive oil flavor. The rest, oh, and then the rest of the cans of vegetables that I mentioned, and then his other bar. And then this soup. I think I've had this before and I liked it, so I just got one jar to make sure. It's this Southwest style tomato and black bean soup. Now that we're hopefully getting into soup season soon, it's still pretty warm out, even though we're like, it's tomorrow's October 1st, which is so crazy, but allegedly it's almost soup season. Okay. And then we have the frozen stuff. As you're new here, we love like easy meals. Just have in the freezer for lunch. So you get lazy. Um, so I got a few of these balls. I love these. So I got um, some Southwest chicken quinoa and Mediterranean style. Cody wanted to try these soft pretzel sticks. He also got this lasagna that he wants to make. 
and then kind of like spread out throughout the week to have for lunch. Um, another Southwest chicken bowl. I thought these would be good if I ever want like a nice little like light lunch. It's chicken, wonton soup. So I got a chicken and then I think I got like a pork too. I think I got one of each to try. These fake nails I have on right now have been like snapping off left and right. I need to just rip all these off. But yeah, I got a pork one as well. I got these chicken pot stickers. And Cody got these mozzarella sticks. I got this. It's a pumpkin and feta flatbread. I actually might make this for lunch today. Some shrimp fried rice, chicken lo mein. These are good for easy lunches and also like if we ever have like a lazy dinner. Um, also some chicken fried rice. Cody got these crunch bars. And then lastly, we got some shrimp. So we got like a two pound bag of shrimp. Um, but yeah, that's everything we got. I'm gonna throw this little flatbread in the oven and we put all these groceries away. And then we're gonna get back on the computer and do some work for the rest of the day. It's already like 1.30. So, no, it's not. What time is it? 12.46. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, how's it 1.30? 12.46, so we're gonna do all that and then we're gonna get back on the computer and get back to having a productive day. Okay, let's do a little taste test. It's actually really good. The like feta on it is really good. I'm gonna eat this, watch a YouTube video, and then we'll get back to work. Okay, just been editing some reels for my locating account and for my personal accounts. So I'm just working on that to do some more editing. I think I have a call. I have a call in like 10 minutes that I'm gonna do. But yeah, just I need to draft up a welcome letter and a lease for this um, personal rental that you guys saw at this point is gonna be a few videos ago, probably like four videos ago. Um, I'm helping someone rent out their triplex. So we have two units down, one to go to lease um, that I need to get at the second lease drawn up for these other people that are gonna move in. So just a lot to do, it's 2.30. So I still have like a lot of time in the day, but time is also ticking on by very quickly. So, um, but yeah, I'm feeling good though. I feel like I've been productive, been good. I have some laundry in, I, I, I feel good. But I, it, if you guys watch my videos, yeah, I'm just, I'm just one of those people that is like always like, oh God, I could do this and this and this, like there's always more to do. So I just like stress myself out because I'm always like, oh my God, there's so much more to do when you're not getting everything done that could be done today. So I'm trying to be easy. Like I'm like, relax, Keisha, relax. Be okay. Like, can you move? Can I have some space? Thank you. <laughs> They're like, I know that's our food. So we're gonna sit here until it's done.